Hey, good morning. It is Wednesday, August 12th, and I'm just leaving the hotel I stayed at in uh, Pauling, New York. Place right here. It's really nice. Had a really nice room. It was like newly remodeled. Yeah, the room was awesome. It had like a full length mirror that you could, um, when you get dressed, you can make sure everything's lined up. And it had uh, bathrobes, TV. It was awesome. Sure was better than a hostel, no doubt. And there's so many places around there to eat. Everything you needed was in walking distance. You had CVS that was open to like 10 at night. And they had restaurants and barbershop where I got a shave and a haircut. And uh, let's see, had a laundromat. So uh, anyway, I should be in Connecticut later today. Well, just made it back to the trailhead where I got off yesterday. So, uh, about a half a mile down, there's a deli, and they uh, have a camping area. And the deli's open like from 3:30 a.m. to like I don't know, 12 at night or something. And they got a charging station, and they got a picnic table or two. And a grill, I think. But the thing is, is right by this real busy road, and there's a train that runs behind um, part of the metro system, I think. So it's a pretty noisy place, so you probably want to make sure you have some earplugs. But it's free, and it's real convenient to the deli, and um, they have everything like drinks and anything you possibly want to eat. So I think I got like 16.5 to a shelter. I'm getting a late start, it's like 10. It's after 10 o'clock. But I wanted to enjoy the room as long as I could. It was a really nice room. And this Italian deli. I love Italian food. Uh, I spent some time in Italy once in the military and I'm kind of uh, fond of Italian food authentic Italian food that is anyway I had a breakfast sandwich I got a sandwich for lunch or dinner and yeah I really needed a day off bad I was dehydrated uh, my legs were just exhausted I'm not the only one I talked to several other hikers that were feeling it because water was hard to come by and uh, you couldn't stay or I couldn't stay hydrated like I normally like to but you had to uh, ration your water make sure you had enough for camp so I think I'm pretty hydrated now but really I probably could have used another day off. My legs still on 100%. But I got some new smart water bottles. Now I got four liters and a 750 milliliter right here. I don't have to keep them all full, but I had a carrying capacity. If I reach a, uh, a long stretch with that water, I can uh, top off all my water bottles. I've got a three liter water bladder, but it's kind of awkward to strap down. It moves around a lot. It's not like rigid, it's like a, it's like a bag. So I mainly use it like when I, at camp and I go down to the water source fill up all my bottles and then I fill that up that way I don't have to go back down the next morning just make one trip works pretty good 
All right, guys. Well, it feels like it's gonna be a hot one. It's already getting warm. I got used to the uh, air conditioning. Let's see what this is. It says hikers. Hope it's not a snake in there. Some water. I'm full of water, so. And you can drop the trash off there. That's good. Check out that water tower, whatever that is. Up on the hill, it looks pretty old. Fixing to cross one of these things. Yeah, filming on the AT. Filming on the AT has been more difficult than I expected. Just when you're hiking all day, from like normally right after daylight till right before dark, and then you get to camp and you gotta set up, get everything ready for bed. It's just uh, basically another chore you have to deal with. So I don't see how these guys get one out every day. They must be have more energy than me, obviously. All right, guys, see you later. How you like the fresh shave? Feels good. Fresh haircut. I'm back in military specifications. Going through a farmer's field this morning. Just a few miles from Connecticut. I'm doing this farmer's field walk. The white blaze has turned orange. And you can tell they used to be white underneath. But they're all orange now, so. Who did that or why? I checked gut hooks. I'm on trail, so. Don't know why they would do that. Sure is easier walking through these fields than up and down mountains. Getting over rocks. Crossing water. New York's been rough. I think it's roughest since Virginia, parts of Virginia. Definitely rougher in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I would put it up there with Virginia and pretty much any other state. Has some pretty hard climbs. Plus, water has been hard to find. You get chronically dehydrated and your muscles just don't have the energy. My legs have been fatigued. They have these stone walls like all through New York and uh, can you imagine the work that took to stack all those stones I'm sure it was all done by hand and it just goes on and on my friend Splinters he thinks they did it when they were farming the area to uh, clear the rocks out. Makes sense. I'm just not sure how they decided where to put them. Was it on their property line? Or what, you know? Anybody knows, leave a comment.
Check this out, guys. Another state. Welcome to Connecticut, gateway to New England. Good morning, it is Thursday, August 13th. I'm just leaving Kent, Connecticut. Uh, I walked in there this morning, did a resupply at a gas station, got some breakfast, filled up my water bottles, and about to get back on trail. It was about maybe a mile or so to this uh, really nice gas station. They had everything I needed. So, uh, here's some trail magic. Let's see here. Somebody left a couple of granola bars. That's pretty nice. You get back on trail, come out of the woods here. And then uh, you get across the road, get back on trail. I think you're going to, um, I think I'm going to follow, follow the river for like um, six miles or so. So hopefully I'll make some good time. Trying to get to Great Barrington by noon Saturday. Got about 54 miles. So, um, I'm going to have to push it hard. I may have to hike, do some late night hiking. So, when I get there, I got two packages waiting on me. One from a friend of mine, Brad, and the other one, some equipment I had sent from home. And, uh... I'll need some time to set up. So I'm gonna take like if I get there Saturday, uh, Saturday night, and then Sunday, I'll probably take a zero to get everything set up. Switching out to a different backpack. It's lighter. It's called a light AF. It weighs less than a pound. So I'll save me a little over a pound just for that. All right, guys. I'll holler at you later. morning it is Saturday August 15th and I'm about to get on trail I've got everything uh, packed up pretty much stayed in the shelter last night it was full of spiders and there was something kept coming in and out of the shelter at night when I put my headlamp on it was it was had disappeared so some small animal don't know what it was But um, to get to this site, it's about a um, half mile off trail down a steep hill. But there wasn't any other options around like campsites that were authorized. So um, I decided to go ahead and do it. But uh, they got a privy there. And there's a um, bear box your food and we got a campsite down here for tenors we got like three people staying in tents well there's one couple there's three tents so uh, four people total so um anyway i'm almost to the 1500 mile mark and then after that i think i got like seven something miles 
and I'll be in Massachusetts. And I may stop in a town, I'm not sure, um, before Massachusetts is called Salisbury, Connecticut. I might stop in there and get something to eat. Alright guys, well, um, I think I forgot to do an intro yesterday. Pretty much the same thing. I stayed at a shelter and there was one guy there, section hiking. He's a retired teacher. I think he said he was from New York. But, um, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, I just made the steep climb out of the shelter site. Limestone shelter. Um, here back on trail, the trail junction with the uh, blue trail to the shelter and I'm about a mile and a half from the 1500 mile mark so I will check back in when I get there Good morning, it is Sunday, August 16th, and I am in Massachusetts. Spent my first night here in a shelter last night. And now I've got about an eight mile hike into uh, the trailhead that goes to Great Barrington. I think Great Barrington's about well, two, three miles from there. From the trailhead and I'm gonna stay tonight I'm gonna take a Nero and then tomorrow I'm gonna take a zero because I got some equipment that uh, I had shipped from home I'm gonna swap out and a resupply box I got to pick up and let's see 
And then it's supposed to rain tomorrow too, so it's a good time to take a zero. And last night it got down to close to in the 40s. I think it was like right at about 50 degrees. So I had to, I got it, my um, Kuyu Pelton 97 on for some insulation this morning. It's a little nippy. I don't know if y'all can see that view or not. Pretty nice view. These are the best views I've had, I do believe, since leaving North Carolina and Tennessee. You know, like the wide open spaces where you can see for miles. Um, I had some in Virginia, like around the Triple Crown, it was really nice. So I guess that would be really the last place I had wide open views, but it reminds me of Tennessee, North Carolina a lot. But yeah, Massachusetts so far has been really pretty. Had a huge climb yesterday when I left Connecticut. Uh, I can't remember the name of the mountain, but it has spectacular views. According to gut hooks, I'm supposed to have like pretty flat trails all the way to Great Barrington. The well, the trail gets to the road that you get to Great Barrington. The trail doesn't really go through the town. Lights, you know, like um, hot springs and. Um, What's the other one in Virginia? Um, come on, I'll think of it here. Damascus. It doesn't go right right through the town. You have to uh, travel a little bit to get to it. Yeah. Not so humid, not so hot. So that's pretty nice. But... That means cold weather will be here before you know it. And I'm not really used to hiking in super cold weather. Where I live in Alabama, we have about eight months of summer, it feels like. And the winters are, they're like all over the place. Like in one week, you can have every type of weather you can imagine. You can have hot, dry, and then you can have Rainy, stormy, tornadoes, tropical storms, and then you can have sleet, snow, all within like a week. And even like it during the day, it'll start out cold, and then it'll warm up, and then it'll get cold again. So it's hard to get used to. Uh, It's not like it gets cold and stays cold normally. Hey guys, here I am in Massachusetts hiking through a field and uh, check out, um, they got sheep over there. Pretty cool. There's a farmhouse. Hey, good morning. It is Monday, August 17th, and I'm in Great Burlington, Massachusetts. About to get 
my resupply box at the post office and some gear I had shipped to me. So um, I'll go over that. Hopefully, uh, we'll get to the room. Let you know what all I got. All right, guys, I got my packages at the post office. I got a resupply box from my good friend Brad over at As the Crow Flies Hiking YouTube channel. And I got some equipment from home. So I think I might do an unboxing video. Got um, dinners here, chicken going here. And then for breakfast, I uh, got uh, peanut butter packs with honey and tortillas. And then I've got some uh, mashed potatoes and a mountain house. And I got some snacks, turkey sausage, some con bars. And... Also, I could either have these for breakfast or lunch. Um, breakfast essentials, some electrolytes, bag full of candies. And I'm glad he sent the Ziploc bags because I was running, well, the ones I had were wore out pretty much. I was going to have to buy a whole new, whole new box of them just for a couple. And he left me this awesome note. Joe, congrats on making it halfway. We are enjoying your videos and look forward to watching you summit Katahdin. All the best as the crow flies hiking. Psalms 24, 4.5.